Also guys, just when I think we've hit the peak end game of 2K, they moved that goalpost. Last week with Luka, Jordan, and Kareem, I really thought it was all over. And then this week, it just gets even crazier. Everyone was either a seven foot giant or some kind of invincible card. Among the set, we have this 99 overall dark matter invincible, Kevin Durant, who's always a popular card in my team, although this year, I haven't seen him quite as much. Now, he did also get a hero card, who's likely gonna be the better value card, but I still wanna see what this Invincible is rocking with, man. We paid 1.3 million MT for this card, literally all of my MT, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get y'all a gameplay. I will say I haven't been the biggest fan of Kevin Durant cards this year, but maybe this card is gonna impress me. Either way, let's take a look. So one thing you see is that he plays small forward and power forward i'm surprised they didn't let him play the shooting guard spot to be honest but it is what it is 99 offense and defense six foot nine 240 pounds and when you take a look at the stats man invincible so you're basically gonna have 99 everything and quickly going back to you know the card size there he was actually six foot ten in 2k21 if i'm not wrong so they shrunk him up a little bit it's all good though defensively you guys can see top to bottom everything's gonna be damn near perfect we take a look at the tendencies and it's 98 90 98, 98, and 97. Surprised I'm not seeing any 100s, especially because when we get to the badges, y'all can see he's fully decked out. 13 gold can hold every badge in the game. The same deal with basically every invincible in the game. But then you go ahead and you take a look at the animations, and you guys will see in the background. Now, I had to go ahead and hop on 2K database to make sure I got it right, but they did not change any of Kevin Durant's SIGs. Like, he's always had the Scottie Pippen behind the back. He's always had his own size up, and honestly, I I thought they were going to give him a better signature size up, something that would help this card move just a little bit faster, but turns out his SIGs are the exact same as the fan favorites Kevin Durant. The only difference is this one has a quick dribble style versus the fan favorites that actually has a shifty dribble style. Some people are able to notice that, some people are not, but I'm actually surprised and slightly disappointed. They, they, they didn't really boost up any of his SIGs. His jumper was always on very quick on his fan favorites card, so it wasn't a big difference to notice there on the invincible and all around that's pretty much all there is to say when you look at badges that he's missing it's only going to be the box and the rise up i don't see any gold badges that i think should be on hall of fame right away except for maybe the brick wall but aside from that badge wise they definitely blessed the durantula although he's essentially the fan favorites card but completely boosted to the max is he going to be worth the pickup only one way to find out man let's hop into a game and let's see what the slim reaper here can do for us today let's get into it Ladies and gentlemen, talk about a crazy matchup here. He's got Kareem, Thon Maker, and Bull Bull. A seven-footer is going to be guarding Kevin Durant. We're going to have to see how this goes. Give me a little screen right there. Behind the back, my animations took their time there. I'm going all the way, ignoring Kareem and Thon Maker's presence. That's how we get started. Fake him into the screen. Thank you. See you later. Right inside to Taco. You're playing a little too lazy on defense there. And I got myself the dunk. I'm gonna need you to slip that screen ASAP because he's gonna be sending help. Beautiful dunk there by Taco, and that's another easy bucket. Durant's a playmaker. Pump fake that. He's got Bull Bull on me. Go right to Kobe. Pump fake that. Right back to KD in the corner. That's an easy mid range. That's an easy bucket, and he's making us work. I mean, there's all these seven footers out here. Get there. Good defense. That's not a foul either. Let's go. Everybody hustle down the court behind the back to Kobe. Oh, Wide open. Dimer me, mama. Give me all three of those. We're starting to slow down this game a little bit, but we gonna be all right. Go right to Bobo, Bo, open three. Give me all three of those as well. They're really sitting on Durant. I mean, Thon Maker, that card's a pain. I did say that card can arguably be the best card to drop today. Send some help, good defense. We there, we there. Lock it all up. Lock it all up. He's gonna have to pass it inside. Come on, Durant, show me what you got. What the? Did you guys just see how far he pushed KD? Block that. Oh, what? That was a perfect block. Oh, I'm so stunned. Playing defense is not rewarding. Hit that quick dribble style. Snatch back. Ow. Open three. Oh, my God. Go ahead and hold that. Hold that. Yes, sir. Thon, you're getting contested by me. Get down the court ASAP. Little missile. Give me that. Bang. Durant has woken up. He's out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that, our opponent has left the match. I was so stunned that Kareem block really went in. That was a solid defensive play, but 
on to game number two. Okay, so it looks like we got another giant to deal with here in game number two, except in this case, it's not Thought Maker, so I'll take that. Look at Andrew Wiggins already trying to clamp me up, man. Somebody give me a screen so I can cook this fella. One behind the back. Thank you, all the way to the basket. Hey, oh my goodness. His dunks are crazy. Good, good defense there by Taco, come on. Get the ball off the court, go to Kobe, then Durant. Oh, this guy might be out of here pretty soon. Durant is locked today. This card with a quick dribble style is definitely moving different. I will say that. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. My team is playing very unserious basketball right now. Like, can we wake up, please? Look at that. Andrew Wiggins is slapping the floor on me. That is so disrespectful. Knock down that three. Let's get the ball to Luka. So since he's off-balling with Wiggins, I just gotta go to the top of the key and go to the go-to move. Go to the ISO, cross one way, burst the other. Easy blow by, see you later. One pass to Taco, that's an easy pass, easy assist. Give me one good screen, hit that screen, yes sir. We going all the way, inside to Taco, one swing outside. Luka doesn't get contested, he just doesn't. I just need to get KD takeover and then I can start taking some crazy shots. Off ball deodorant, he doesn't see it quite soon enough. I don't know how we green that. Let's try to end this first quarter off on a good note. I need one perfect screen here and I got a three. What is that animation? Handle the ball better, you idiot. All right, so in the second quarter, we've just decided to play very unserious basketball. Don't know why. Hit that screen. Come on, Kobe. All the way to the basket. That's an easy dunk. Can we please lock in defensively? You guys are trolling me. Nice rebound there, man. Come on, push the pace. Kevin Durant, open. Dimers, bang. The defense, the offense is there. I just want more defense. This Andrew Wiggins is so cracked defensively. Trying to get him to hit a screen has been tough. Finally, we get an opportunity and we don't waste it. Steal that. Oh, that's too bad. That's a free board, guys. Don't let Yao Ming get it. Come on, get up the court. That's Durant down there, wide open for three. Give me all three of those, baby. All right, we're up one point. He needs a timeout. Let's lock in, man. Get there. Good defense. We're actually rotating fast enough. Get it to Bobo. Slow down. Where's Kevin Durant? Because he has to be the man of the hour. I want to see what this quick dribble style can really do. Burst out of that. Thank you. All the way to the basket. Oh, I tried to throw the pass to Kobe. He just went for the dunk. That's why I didn't react because I thought it was going to be a turnover. Give me a little ISO here. I'm not as scared of Richard Jefferson as I was of Andrew Wiggins because we can get that burst, get down there, draw the foul. We got so bailed there and uh, we got some free throws. I honestly should have thrown a missile there to the hash. I was surprised he sent any help whatsoever, but 22 early points here for Kevin Durant. We're on pace for something crazy. I'll tell you that. Whenever my team is ready to play defense, I'll be waiting, bro. Richard Jefferson, he's clamping up two all the way. He's jumping, easy layup right there, easy bucket. We finally have takeover. Hezzy, thank you. Little crossover, snatch back. He's already jumping, stopping. Way downtown, bang! Now jumping into the second half and we have not been playing good basketball, pump fake. I'm surprised he didn't jump at that Rudy Gay. Wide open for three, give me all three of those. That was a timely bucket, man. Four point lead, get that. Oh, that's too bad. Can we please get that rebound? Thank you guys. We have not been playing good basketball tonight. It's actually disappointing me. Rudy Gay, he's open at the midi there and that's a bucket, but everyone is moving so oddly. Can we please push the pace in transition? There we go, all the way down the court. That's Sabonis, that's an easy mid-range. So Kevin Durant's gonna take a bit of a break. Thought Maker's getting a little too annoying. We're gonna get the rest of the team going and then give it back to him. None of my behind the back moves are working today. Hit that, thank you Sabonis. Beautiful pick and pop, that's the easiest three of my life. So uh, guys, as you can see, we're loading up the PS5 again because guess what? My console shut off mid gameplay. Right before the fourth quarter. I'm assuming that's why my game was playing all funky. My PlayStation must be overheating or something. Either way, it sucks. All right, so as much as I wanna jump into another game, the last time this was happening with Invincible Giannis, my console literally just kept shutting off 10 minutes after loading into a game, and it was just getting too frustrating. So Kevin Durant, he went out there, he definitely did his thing, but it's definitely not how you wanna end off a gameplay. I am gonna say this though, Kevin Durant with the quick dribble style, he's definitely an animal. I love the burst that this card gets, but here's the thing, the Invincible Durant is not gonna be worth it in my opinion. And honestly, I find that that's the case with 
a lot of invincible cards that have dropped this year. I kind of think that's why 2K is dropping so many invincibles this year is because not all of them as are as OP as they were back in 2K20 and 2K21, man, like the GO cards. Anyways, Durant, an absolutely phenomenal card. I would definitely just go ahead and downgrade to the hero version because you will honestly barely notice a difference unless you're like a 2K pro who's looking for every single tiny stat. But when it's come to a lot of these drops, guys, the hero ones have ended up being the better value ones, but it is also the end game. So if you've got extra MT to spend and Kevin Durant is one of your favorite, if not your favorite player of all time, then go ahead, spoil yourself, get the invincible because he's honestly going for cheaper than I thought he would go for. Like we have Luca going for three mil. LeBron was sitting at 1.9 mil for a good while. And Kevin Durant, I got this card for 1.3 million MT, which is very surprising because like I said before, he's always one of the more popular my team cards every year up until this year where people realize he's not quite as glitchy as good of a card as he all around is if you can't even afford the hero one go out there and get the dark matter thon maker because i truly believe that all around that card is going to end up being better than any of the kevin durant cards that are currently out but you guys go out there get hoopy with this card let me know how y'all feel about it also let me know in the comments man who is your favorite card that dropped this weekend but that's gonna do it for today man if y'all enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers sub up baby on that grind to 400k i'm gonna go punch my ps5 now goodbye